Hi, I'm Kevin Kundert with the Rural Community Assistance Partnership. Today we'll be touring a softening plant that uses ion exchange to remove radium and iron from water. My name is Bob Rick. I'm with Great Lakes Community Action Partnership a regional partner with RCAP, uh, Rural Community Assistance uh, Partnership. Coal City is a uh, small community of uh, about 5,000 population. They're a groundwater plant removing radium uh, with ion exchange. And they're looking to partner with other smaller communities within the county. And they're going to go to a surface water plant. They're, they're building an alliance with Godley, South Wilmington, uh, Braidwood, and a few others, then they wouldn't have to treat for radium. But in the meantime, they, they got to continue to have good quality drinking water by using their ion exchange. We were brought into some of these communities initially for technical assistance, and then we get into how they're managing their system and how they're financially uh, managing their system as well. My name is Tyler Valienti and I'm the water and sewer operator for the village of Coal City. We have four wells here. One of them is a deep well that's at 1,500 feet down in the ground. It pulls a lot of radium. That's our big one. And then we have three shallow wells. They're between four and 600 feet in the ground. They pull more sulfur. We run the three shallow wells together and then we run the deep well half the month each. So we operate on and off. So th this here is the aerator for our water when we're running our shallow wells that have sulfur. What it does is it blows air through a blower through a big screen that the water's coming down over to release uh, the sulfur from the smell so we don't go into the water. The wells then pump right here to the water plant to a clear well, holds it there. Everything's operated off of our tower. The level in the tower controls everything here at the plant when the tower's low enough, it kicks on the high service pumps. The high service pumps pump the water from the clear well up through our ion exchange water filters. The hardness levels that we begin with are, when we're running our deep well, is 27 uh, grains hardness. And we have to remove that all the way down to below three. So hardness coincides with radium. As hardness goes up, radium goes up. So we gotta keep our hardness down to keep our radium down. Uh, the level's five picocuries, so we wanna make sure we stay below that, and that's what does it. After the water goes through the tanks, it goes out and fills up our tower. We have two towers, one on each end of the town, a 300,000 gallon and a 500,000 gallon tank. We hold 800,000 gallons in the air, lasts us about a day and a half, two days. So here I can explain how the ion exchange filter plant works. The water comes in, goes through the tanks that are listed here. We have four filter tanks. We can put 85,000 gallons through each tank with radium until they have to be backwashed. Um, the backwash is the stage where we take the radium and we get rid of it and send it to our sewer plant. We put 20 minutes worth of backwash time on and then we put the brine solution in. We run 300 gallons of brine water through each filter during a regeneration. After the brine happens, we have to slow rinse. We have to rinse all that salty water back out so that it doesn't go into the system. And that happens for 25 minutes. After 25 minutes, we go to a fast rinse. We hit it really hard, really fast with water for 13 minutes. After that, the filter has made it, made it through a regeneration and it can go back into service and start producing water again. For treatment here in Coal City, we use ion exchange filters. Their main purpose is to remove radium for us. They also remove iron. We have a little bit of iron, 0.2 milligrams per liter. When we backwash, we use a salt brine solution. When the radium gets grabbed in the filters, it gets released when the salt hits it in the brine, and we flush that to our sewer system.
The distribution and storage system for Coal City. We have two operators on staff for in the plant, and then we have a crew that takes care of water main breaks, sewer breaks, they take care of everything out there. Yeah, the distribution system has uh, all different kinds of pipes. We have ductile iron, transite, plastic. We have right around a thousand lead service lines in town. Monitoring and reporting for this system includes, uh, we, we test pH, we test the hardness, we test chlorine, free in total, and we also test our phosphate level. We want to know what our phosphate is in the water at all times. We want to make sure that we're coating the lead lines to keep lead from leaching back into the water. Our SCADA system main control is located right at our sewer plant. The water plant computer mirrors the, the sewer plant computer so that we can see what's going on right on that computer here or on your phone. So if you log in on your phone, we can view the sewer plant computer at any time, anywhere. And we do it quite a bit, actually. Uh, I mean, I've been on vacation where it's like, oh, something's going on. I got to see what's going on. Um, it's pretty cool. For more information on water and wastewater treatment, go to rcap.org. Mm -hmm.